everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. If you're exporting video footage from a VIP Vision, WatchGuard or SecureView video recorder, or maybe you're exporting footage directly from a VIP Vision IP camera, that video footage is going to be in a file format known as DAV or file extension .dav or a DAV file. The reason for that and the reason for exporting in a file format that's not like your typical uh, MP4 or AVI file is because these files contain more than just your audio and video information. They also contain information um, such as your timeline information, where the video sits um, as a date and time. Um, other information such as maybe motion detection information, if you've got motion set up, IVS or intelligent video search and video surveillance information, so tripwire and um, intrusion detection, that sort of thing. Maybe if you've got a special camera, say a thermal camera, or you've got something like a uh, stereo camera, extra information is for those particular cameras is embedded in the DAV file. Now, that's not normally an issue because we have special players designed specifically for, special executable players designed specifically for playing back that footage. So uh, Smart Player, for instance, which is exported with the footage if you export from a video recorder. Um, sometimes, however, problems arise with sending people DAV files. Uh, maybe they, they're unable to play it back. They're unable to open the DAV player because of security restrictions in place or something on the network. Sometimes people like the, the police, for instance, law enforcement, if you're exporting video for law enforcement, typically they want it in a file format, which is just a flat file format with video and audio information and maybe the timestamp encoded on the video directly. Okay, um, in situations like that, in certain recorders, you can actually choose to export um, video footage into either an ASF file or an MP4 file. Um, however, the easiest way to do it typically is just to export the clip as normal and then convert it using our video format conversion tool. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Basically, how to take a DAV file and convert it to an AVI or MP4 file. So, without further ado, let's jump across to a PC. Okay, as you can see, we have three DAV files here, uh, which have been exported using a, net, well, using a USB stick from a network video recorder, uh, which is why they're obviously in the NVR folder up here that I've created, so I've copied them from a USB stick to this PC's desktop, but it's also why we've got the Smart Player in here, okay? And as I mentioned before, if we open Smart Player, which comes bundled um, with any exports you do to a USB stick from a network video recorder, I can quite easily play back those DAV files in here um, without any issue at all. So if all we're doing is we just want to play back footage, it's, it's often advantageous to actually leave it in the DAV file format because it's as, as you can see, you've actually got the actual time that the footage was exported down the bottom here. Um, and you've got additional, you know, things like watermark information that you can add or remove to the image. And you can also, um, if you've got motion detection turned on or IVS, you can actually see those rules within Smart Player. Um, however, I'd imagine if you're watching this video, you probably want to export to AVI or to MP4. So let's do that now. So first thing I'm gonna do is just close the Smart Player. And then I'm gonna go to the Rhinoco website. Now, from the Rhinoco website, what you're gonna need to do so rhino, rhinoco.com.au and then select support. Now from support, go down under popular downloads and select convert tool. Now this is currently only available for Windows. Okay, so if you wanna follow this process, you will need a Windows based PC. So let's download that. And it's gonna download a 7.3 megabyte zip file in the current version at least. And I'm going to open that file. Now from here, you can see that we've got convert tool and within here we've actually got files okay but we want to extract everything before we launch the file so make sure you click on the extract section up the top and then select extract all within windows so i'm going to select extract um, i'm going to select that this goes to my desktop just so that i can see where it is for this video um, but feel free to extract it anywhere you like um, it's worth noting that this does not require installation, okay? We're just going to extract it out. Um, the reason for that is so that you don't have to install things on a customer's PC or something like that if you don't want to. Um, it's quite easily deleted afterwards and you don't typically need any permissions to do this. Okay, so I'm going to click Extract now and it's going to show me the folders when complete. So let's just wait for that to happen. Okay, cool. So now you can see it's open desktop and we've got the Convert Tool folder right here. So. Uh, from here, I'm going to need to launch the convert tool executable here. So I'm going to double click and here we go. So you'll see video current transcode as the, as the thing up the top. 
Um, depending on the file format, it may or may not actually do any transcoding, but it will definitely change our file format from DAV to MP4 or any other file format that's supported by the tool. So the first thing we need to do, click on new task. And then once you've selected new task, we want to add a task, okay? By task, basically we're talking about a video file to convert. So my files are within the NVR file, form, file folder on my desktop. Um, and within that in the date that they were exported. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just select the first file, double click, and you can see that it's added a first, the first file in here. Now I've got more files to actually convert, so I'm gonna add more, okay? If you've only got the one file, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna add more, so open, and I'm gonna add again, and I'm just gonna add my third and final file here. Now, once that's done, we get to select our output directory. Okay, so by default, it's going to actually be in a folder called video within the convert tool. However, you can select um, another folder for it to go to. So I'm gonna select my desktop again, just so that I know exactly where it's gonna turn up and no subdirectory, so just on my desktop. So these files are gonna be saved in my desktop. Now I get to select the output format. This is what we really are looking for here. Now you have a few different choices. So FLV, AVI, ASF, DAV. So we can convert back to DAV if we're converting a, uh, another file into the DAV file format. PS format, TS format, and standard MP4 format. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to select MP4. You'll probably find that it's the most compatible. The other one that's quite common is AVI. ASF is something that's um, viewable within Windows Media Player and basically, obviously, VLC and a number of other players. So they're quite common, those three. AVI, ASF, and MP4. Usually, whoever's asking for the file will tell you the file format they want it in. Okay, it's worth noting that these are just containers. Okay, um, it's going to still contain either H.264 or H.265 video. Um, depending on, on whatever video you've extracted from the recorder or camera. So in this video, I'm gonna select MP4 and I'm gonna select Start Conversion. And just like that, we've converted our three video files. Now, obviously, if you've got a slow PC or you have very large files, that may take quite a bit longer. These files are only a few minutes in length. So don't be, don't be surprised if um, this takes longer. Um, now, I could either go to my desktop or I can just, or wherever I, wherever I extracted the files to, in my case, the desktop. Um, however, I could also just click directory and that will launch, uh, sorry, that will launch the default folder, okay? Uh, we don't actually wanna do that. I'm just gonna go to desktop, which is where I left them. And you'll see that we've got three files here. These three files that I've just extracted. And you can already see that they're viewable natively within Windows using the VLC media player. And there you go. There is our file extracted as an MP4. You can see that it's an MP4 file just up the top here. You'll see the file extension MP4. And these video contents are identical with the exception of all, you know, the, the other information that I mentioned earlier has been stripped out. Um, but they're virtually identical, well, they are identical from a video and audio point of view to the files that you just looked at previously, the DAV files. And just to show you there again, MP4 video file. Okay, that's it. That's as simple as it is. Um, if you've got any questions, comments regarding to this video, please feel free to leave them below. If you've got anything you'd like to see in a future video, please again, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get on it as soon as...